Oh, let's get, oh, oh, there's another one. Okay, I'm on path. You see how these three were all like in a line? That means we're on one of the tendrils of the main cluster. If you imagine it underground, starting back there, coming along here. So either the main node is going to be up in there, which I don't think it is. Or let's say that bendy tree. Let's say the bendy tree might be the main cluster node. We'll look around him in a minute. And they're pretty big. It's getting bigger the more you go this way. So it could be actually this way. All the bigger ones should be near the center of the node. It's fun to map things out in your mind. I feel like you guys are getting smart by watching this video. I wish everybody in the world was as smart as me. I'm not bragging. I just wish they were at least as smart as me. I don't think I'm that smart, but I pay attention and I remember things really good. And that's all you really got to worry about. Everybody was at least as smart as I am. Then we get shit done. This looks like a hog wallow almost. Like there's been pigs walking around in this making mud. You don't think of it as an exactly a straight line because if you know anything about the way tree limbs and tree roots kind of mirror each other above and below the ground, it follows the same kind of path of least resistance that a lightning bolt does. So it may. Instead of going straight this way, it might have shot off this way a little bit. Or that way a little bit. Actually, that over there is kind of back where I found those three. It might have went that way. So the largest organism in the world we thought was the blue whale. Until we discovered there was a grove of trees, I think it was aspens. Up in uh, Washington or Oregon. It crosses several states. It's like... Massive. They all share the same root system, so they're all technically the same organism. Blue whales are still the largest mammals, but that kind of works the same way as the mycelium. Some deer tracks you can see here. This one's going this way. This one's going this way. Deer cross paths here all the time. If I was a hunter, I'd put me sit at a stand up and grab out this tree right here. Probably a little thick boy. That would be easier to put it on like this tree right here. You'd be right on top of the deer. They come from this path. I've been walking along animal trails this whole time. I don't have to worry about getting lost because I can still hear the traffic behind me. So I don't have to worry about what direction I'm going in. I'm just kind of wandering. Alright, this is where I want to show my mom. Stuff like this. Clusters, look at that. Two of them. In the same bunch. And then there's one. I saw another one right over there. Away for a second, you lose them. There he is. You gotta like shift side to side sometimes, <laughs> and that'll help you, help you see him. So apparently, it went this way, unless this is a whole other spider web. When I was a kid, and we used to look for them, we just kind of knew you'd kind of look around in a circle from where you found the first one, which is smart. That'll tell you kind of a general idea, but if you understand how. Like the lightning bolt shape, a spider web thing underneath the ground. You kind of like really understand what the fungus is doing. Really kind of become the fungus. Fungus among us. There's one right there. Boom. It's a good log right here. Looks like a light pole almost. These are these maple balls I was talking about. You see how it kind of camouflages in with those? Yep. There's another one. <sighs> yeah. It's good white ones. My mom texted me, uh, country boy will survive. And I sent her my first pictures, the first batch. I'm living off the land. Oh, there's actually two here. Uh, one there, one there. Nice. Yeah, coronavirus. It might take me out, but I don't have to leave my house for a while. I know that much. I live off these shrooms. Okay, this spot right here looks like it'll be really good. I think it's another coyote kill pit. Yeah, if you look at this bone here, look at that. Does that not look like it's been manufactured and designed? Look how circular that bone is, that hinge. That's just evolution. That's how it works. 
Not a bone right over here. Uh, bone socket joint. Another one right here. Something's been feasting. Pretty old, but I was just thinking the other day, like, I've already had three good meals of mushrooms. If I don't find any more this year, I'd be satisfied because I've already had plenty. But now I've got probably four meals worth or something just in this one trip today. I don't know if my mom and dad watch my videos or not. You'd think that they would want to know the legend that they birthed. A lot of you long-term T2 fans, I wish I could get all y'all together again. Back when I had the 20,000 subscribers. Because I wanted to do like a thing for my mom on her birthday or something. Maybe my birthday, it's coming up here in a couple weeks. For my birthday, if you guys would uh, tell me stories of how T2 has influenced your life. Let my mom know what a legend she gave birth to. I could compile those into a video to send it to her. And I've had a lot of people over the years message me, say they were complex suicide, stuff like that. I never really figured out, or nobody told me the exact details of what they were talking about, but I heard a lot of stories like that. I don't know why some guy on YouTube making videos would want to be so influential, but I guess I said some pretty important stuff over the years. I don't remember all of it. I just put it out there and I'll forget about it because that's how I kind of empty my brain out. I right, get thinking about something. You get thinking about stuff for too long. The gears it kind of builds up. You never tell it to anybody. So I just throw it out in the universe. And then I forget about it. Kind of like when you have a dream and you wake up and you forget everything you just think. That's a weird poop right there. What is that? Too small to be a coyote. Probably like a really fat mouse or something. I don't know. It's like a diarrhea poop. Almost like a cow patty. Like a miniature cow patty. <sighs> guess my druid skill isn't high enough to know what kind of poop that is. I like being out in the woods and knowing everything around me so that doesn't scare people. I don't like people get scared in the woods. If you know how everything works, you have no reason to fear the woods. Or at least know enough that you can identify most poops. That's all that really matters. This video is going to be way longer than it needs to be. A lot of just me walking around ranting and not finding mushrooms. But I had another thought. Oh yeah, here we are. This is the big bendy tree. Uh, birds, like turkeys, they like to roost on limbs that stick out to the side. This tree actually fell over and then it decided to keep growing at some point and went straight on up like that. So that there is a perfect turkey roosting spot. I'm surprised that there's no feathers underneath it, but that would make perfect sense for my psyllium node to be right underneath this tree. This is where the turkeys come. They get they eat the mushrooms, they get the spores on their wings, sit under this tree. Because it kind of went out along that log right there. That's where I found those three or four. I came from that direction originally. So it's like that way and that way. So I can go out that way. See if I find any. 